Also, another thing to chat about, the choke. It's, you don't have to pull it all the way out, you can have it at half. So if you pull it all the way out, that's giving it so much um, extra gas. Well, it opens up the carburetor and it, I think what it does is it allows the, the, the vapors, the gas vapors to travel in. So you don't always need it all the way out. So it's on half at the moment, but I'm pushing it in. It, it should, yeah, it's still ticking over. Um, so that's fine. Just let that run for a bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'll just pull the, um, I'll pull this, I'll pull the fuel line and I'll just let that use all the fuel that's in the carburetor bowl. And then what that does is if you're storing it, you won't have any issues with it um, like clogging up the, clogging up the carburetor. It won't, it won't you know, no, there's, there's, there's actually mixed opinions. People say leave it in because then you won't get the tiny little bit evaporating then turn into, into the sticky stuff, the varnish stuff. And some people say drain your bowls because it's just good practice. Um, yeah, when you're storing it, if you're storing it on its side or transporting it, you don't want there to be any fuel in the bowls. That's another thing I noticed when I was carrying it, I carried it by this handle didn't really like that because the whole engine just tipped up like that and it just feels very unnatural or well, not unnatural it just feels a little bit strange and when it did that I noticed loads of loads of liquid flew out of these two holes here see these two so I think that that is connected to the carburetor maybe that's like an overflow bowl or something and then the way that it tipped it pushed all the fuel out of those drain holes, I think. Could be wrong, but that's what I'm assuming. So that was a little bit weird. So I guess it chucked it out before I got it into the van. So that was quite handy because I don't want that petrol going all over the van. But yeah, what I didn't do at the beach was I didn't pull this. Let's just pull the fuel line and let that, that'll probably tick over now for another couple of minutes. But yeah, just flushing it through at the moment. All the fresh water can cleanse, cleanse the system, cleanse the water pump, cleanse the internal channels where the water flows around the, um, the engine block. And what it's gonna do is it's just gonna stop the salt from, from like, every time there's a salt deposit, it obviously makes the channels narrow, narrower. So eventually it's like arteries if you, if you eat loads of fatty foods, it blocks your arteries. Same with the salt water and the beautiful veins that are in, inside the engine, or channels, whatever you want to call them. It's going to get a few revs. Yeah, well happy with this. Very pleased. Tomatsu six horsepower. Go and pick yourself one up. Boat well do them. Um, yeah, loads of different distributors, but I recommend going to Boat World because those guys are insane. Their customer services is next to none. So make sure you go and check them out. I'll put a link in the description. Yeah, anyway, let's call it a wrap. Thanks for watching, as always. Yeah, got the wife beater on. Sorry about that. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, give us a like and a subscribe and all that business. And we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.